What is up everybody, this is always back with the next video of Java JDBC Essential Training Series. In the last few videos we created this code which we were able to retrieve a data from the database. Uh, if you are watching this tutorial and you haven't watched the previous tutorial you might get confused but uh, let me just show you the database we have. So I'm just going to go to Chrome browser in my PHP my admin in my SQL database I have this school database I have two tables in this database students and teacher let's go and review the code one more time so in our main class I'm making a connection I'm retrieving a connection from DB, DB connection class where I passing in my username and password and connection link and then we are getting connection in our main class from that class now we created a statement with using of this connection and the result set type is type scroll insensitive. That means I can scroll my cursor up or down and our result set is read only. Now if I run the code and I get all the students I have in the students table. So I'm retrieving data from student table here. But what if you want to retrieve a particular student or you want to retrieve a data for the first student or the last student or anywhere in the middle. So that's what we're going to learn in this video. I have one more class here which is a student class which basically retrieving all the data from students table. So we just leave that here. This is the code for that students.getstudent.rs. What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to leave that here but I'm going to go down here. And now the first thing what I want to do, I want to take my cursor and move that to the last. So to move the cursor to the last, you can just pass in the rs.last method. So rs is our result set variable and we're passing on the last method on it. Now at this point, our cursor is at the last row in the database. Now if I print out, let's say if just let's just print out something here so here we can say rs dot get string and then here I'm going to pass in the column name so that would be first name we're gonna get the first name for the last student so first name here and now if I run the application it should print out the last student so here the last student first name is Awais let's go back to the database here as you can see the last student I have is my name there I'm gonna go back to net means now so at this point our cursor is at the last position and we're retrieving the student uh, name the last student name from this first underscore name column I have the column here as you can see on the top first name and the last name DOB class and email here and then we have the ID for each student now let's look at uh, a different way so here I'm gonna remove this code here and then we're gonna print out so the first thing I'm gonna say that the last student is and then we're gonna append ID first so let's say rs dot get int and then here we can pass in our table name which is ID now if you're getting confused about I'll just use the string I need to get int here alright so if you're getting confused about why am I using int here because our data type for this table is int so once we created this table we put in that the data type for ID is going to be int that is why I'm retrieving as int here and now we're gonna append a space here so let's just say empty uh, double quotation and then concatenate again now we need to retrieve the first name so rs dot get string which is a data type for the first name so get string here we can type first underscore name over table name and then after this we need last name for that so just uh, add a space here again and then concatenate it with rs dot get string method again on our result set and then here we can say last underscore name and we can get the date of birth as well so now we need to add another space for the database date of birth actually so let's just go to the next line and then concatenate it with the space one more time and then we are going to use the method rs dot get date alright and here we can say 
DOB, which is our column name. Let's go and verify that. So DOB is a column name in database. Now, if I run this code, it should give me the last student here. As you can see, the last student is four, which is the ID. Avais Mirza is the name, and date of birth is this. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to move the cursor. So it's just going to make a bit of space here. And now we are going to, let's say, I'm going to take the cursor rs dot first. So we're going to check the what is the first student. So I'm just going to copy this code and then we paste it here. All right, so now our cursor should be at the last. So now we have all the details here because we're getting this code and then we have the last student and we got ID of result and date of birth and the, here we're saying last student but it's actually the first student it's just a string so we can change this to first and let's run the code again and now we're getting first student is one Michelle and the name and the date of birth of the student so as you can see on the top we have Michelle is on number one now this is the last and this is the first what about if I wanna take a particular student which uh, which is on number four or number three so for that we can use another method so rs dot absolute there's a and then it needs an int so we're gonna say what is the third student here now our cursor is on third so now if I just print out the same statement so just gonna copy this and paste it here so now we can say student is and now let's just run it and let's see what student we get so at the last line we have this three which is actually right so on number three we have Katie and that's what we're getting I'm just gonna comment this out and to make it like a little bit more cleaner so we have the first which is our last student first student and then on number three student so what it's basically doing is when the compiler comes to this line it moves the cursor to the last okay whatever the rows we have it's gonna move the cursor to the last and then when it's come to this line it print out the statement which basically retrieving the data where our cursor is so our cursor is at last right now so that's why we're getting the last student and here we have the first student because our cursor will go to the first in the row to the first row and then we will print out this so that's why we're getting the first student and by using the absolute method we can put the cursor wherever we want so there's so many uh, there are a few more options here but you can explore in Java documentation so that is how you can move your cursor and retrieve a particular data from your database